<laughs> oh, wow, that was bad. <clears throat> hey, uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Tazman's to the Sky. And uh, in our last episode, we started uh, we started doing the ME uh, quests uh, because we want to be able to have our ME system up and running. In this episode, we're going to kind of, we're still working with our goal towards the ME. However, um, there were a couple things from Pawa that uh, I think we need to also uh, do. So we're going to actually start with a little bit of Pawa. And I'm hoping, let's, let's hit F5 once. Um, I'm hoping that we can actually get to where we actually have the ME controller in this episode. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to prep these ones though. Because, like, to get to the ME controller, we have to have the processors. And so, like, to lay it out where I usually have it, uh, I can't quite do that the way I, I normally do. So, these ones, we're going to kind of, a lot of these, we're actually going to have to gather as we go. But that's okay. Um, so, let's uh, begin. So, some of the things that we want from Power for this, like, we, we obviously have our, our batteries and our, our uh, cables, which is really good. And we made our little pylon things for, I can't even remember what it's called, where it shoots the lasers and it turns like iron and gold into a, a energized ingot or whatever. But um, what we want to do is at P-O-W-A-H. So what we want to do in this one is we want to make these guys right here called ender cells. So we've already made the batteries basically, but an ender cell, the difference between that and a battery is, or the, the regular power cell, energy cell or whatever, is this one acts kind of like if, I think it was Ender IO that had something called the Tesseract, which could transfer uh, through dimensions and stuff different things like items uh i think items electricity or energy and also i think fluids could go through those I, it's been a long time since i've done those so we're gonna need that we're going to and we normally would start right at the beginning but it looks like from to go from the ender the main ender uh cell we don't actually have to it's not a progression it's not like you use this the use the basic ender cell to get the uh, or the starter ender cell to get the basic and then the basic to get to the hardened um we actually can just start right out with the hardened because we have all this stuff uh the other thing we're going to need for this is we are going to need to set up ourselves a blank card and so that we have a dimensional binding card. We're gonna do that and then we're also gonna need an aerial pearl uh, and that is for this guy down here which is a player transmitter. And what this will do is make it so our body basically has energy constantly flowing to it so anything in our inventory or that we're holding will be charged off of the network. So that's what we're going to start with. So let's go ahead to our chest here and we'll begin. Um, so this is the first part right here that we need. Uh, good. And we're going to go ahead and put this here, 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 here. And the ender pearl in the center. And um, this is going to get us our aerial pearl. Now what we do with this right now, it doesn't do anything. It's not like you throw it. However, what you do do with it, what you do do, <laughs> what you do with it is you um, find a, a zombie and hopefully we can find some. Skeleton. Oh, we need a zombie. I hear a witch. I could swear all the zombies. I hear zombies dying on the other side. It's just not here. Come on, give me some zombies. Seriously, we're not going to get any zombies. Alright, let's go to the other side since I guess we're just not getting zombies over there. Come on, break this. 
Oh, there's a zombie for us. Alright, so we can right click on a zombie like that, and now you see we actually have the zombie inside this. And it's it's not where I can right click it, it's not like a, a cell or anything, but it is uh, the first part we're going to need. So we need a zombie trapped inside of here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now let's go do the next part. This is going to be making our little binding card and really simple recipe. Now you can do this either with the sideways ones if you want or the vertical ones. So if we did this, you can see that uh, that makes the card or if we do it this way, uh, that makes cards. So it doesn't matter which one you do, but that's our first part right there. Then we need to take this, this, and this. So two redstone dust, uh, a rotten flesh, and the binding card. And this will make it into, well, I guess this is just a blank card. This turns it into the binding card. And what we need to do with this is actually go uh, do the same thing we did with the zombie, but now we need to do it with an enderman. And this is what makes it so that it will go across the and all that fun stuff. So hopefully there's an enderman here. Or we could always go to the end really quick, which might be our faster way. Let's go to the end. Whoop. All right, so we'll just come up here, you know, say, hey, hello, Mr. Enderman, and there we go. So now we have an Enderman essence inside this card, and we come back. So now that we have both those, we have some of the major parts that we need to do. All right, so let's take our Enderman card. Now what we want to do with this, now we want to bind it to us. And we do that by simply right clicking it with us, uh, with our hand. And now you can see the binding card is owned by Tasman. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, this guy right here. This is going to be, if I remember right, Oh yeah, I remember what this is. Uh, we're gonna use our little system down here. By the way, I did go through over the week and actually upgrade all our things to hardened. Our wires are all now hardened. These guys are hardened and everything. So if I remember right, this is what we're doing here. Or is this, maybe I should go look. I think we're making these guys. Yeah, it's energizing. All right, so we'll go one, one, and one. Let the laser go off and maybe put two of these things up so I can click it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now for what we're making, we actually need all these, but it's not because it uses a bunch of these weird ender eye things that we're making. It's because we're making lots of, we're actually gonna make a, uh, a decent amount of the ender, or the, yeah, the ender cells, um, so that we can actually uh, have more than one throughout our base. Oops, wrong thing. Just so you know, these are not, you know, you don't have to put them in a specific order. We can actually put them in whichever order we want. It's just as long as the three components are there. All right, so there we go. We have that now. We come back over here. Let's do our next part. Um, these, I believe, we need to do, uh, let's just do this. I think this might be the actual ender cells, if I'm remembering correctly. So we're gonna go ahead. I already forgot if it's, where's the other 24th? Oh, there it is, the 48 we got. And then these guys go in the center, and of course it was wrong. So this is gonna give us the hardened ender cells, and of course they don't stack, which is why we will put the majority of them in our backpack, because they will stack there. Well, I think I only want one, but we're going to keep two out for now. All right, so that is our ender cells. Um, and one of those we're actually going to go put on just right next to our batteries down there. So the next thing we need 
is I need to make I don't know why I have to do what was I making here I'm pretty sure there's another component that I might not have put in there was it that 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 doesn't make anything I know there's something I kind of feel like it's that weird ender eye thing let me see. I think it's this guy personally. Oh, I know what it is. Never mind. Um, I do know what it is. So we need to do this and this, this, and this is where we are using our pearl. So this is one that is a progressive, so it'll get the same thing as we go up. So we're going to do a second one here. So instead of the pearl, we put that guy. So we do the exact same recipe. This time, instead of with the tiny uh, capacitors, we're doing it with the uh, regular size capacitors. And that gives us the basic one. And I believe right here we're going to do the next one. But we need to get some other types of capacitors, which are the charged ones. Um, so we can come here, do this. I already totally spaced whether it was this way or not. I think it is. I think any time that the dielectric paste stuff is in there, that it's that. So what this is going to do is going to make us four of these guys. I remember now. Now we just need this guy and this guy. And we can take this. We can take this guy. We can take this guy. We can take two of these. And this gives our hardened uh, player transmitter, which will hold 10 million FE in it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is this guy right here, which, if I remember right, this is the battery itself. So one of the little batteries. So when you put that in the middle. Yeah, so this is a battery starter. Um, these you actually put in the, the uh, you can put them in the cells. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to put the battery in the bottom. And that will give us the next stage up. I think that went there, that went there and there. So this will give us our next battery, which is the basic. And of course, we can also get the hardened, which is what we're going to do. This is where we're going to use these other two uh, cells. So let's go and do that, that, that. And as far as I know, part of the reason uh, we're just kind of cruising through these is because I don't think any of these actually use uh, they're, they're not any quests alright so now we're going to come down here and off of this guy right here we're going to stand right here and look at what direction this is is west so we're also going to make it so that it can extract to the west like so and then right here we'll go ahead and put our ender cell and you'll see in here we have lots of different channels uh, technically we only have three right now so you can actually say how much energy is going to go into each um, what we want to do is set this to all off and then set this receive to the east right so receive and then this is where I got stuck on a different one is I had to remember if that's where I put the battery do I, have to, I don't think I'd do that uh, did I do this wrong all right let's see so yeah that's west so west is extract which is correct and this is east, and it's set to receive. Do I charge? Oh, I wish I could remember. Um, let's go ahead while we're at it. We'll even go, I can't, I'm trying to remember. Now I'm drawing a blank, but I'm, I'm trying to remember if we put the player transmitter on this or on this block. I don't think it matters, but if we put it there, then we also have to make it so up we'll also have an uh, extract. And that should 
charge this guy up. And then we take our binding dimensional card and put it in there. And now that we have the green light, if we have something in our inventory that charges, you can see that it's actually charging up. So, um, and that's just because it's bound to us. I, th I think I might have to charge this all the way up and then put it in here. We'll, we'll let it go for a minute. All right, so anyway, we have that. Now, what we would do, although it's not working, oh, look at baby kitten. Um, take this guy. If we put it down, uh, if it's on the same channel, then it actually can uh, uh, get power from the one down below. Although I don't seem to have been, I don't seem to have done this right. We almost got, we half our power. I'm, I, I think it might be we put the battery in here. I'll, I might have to research that out and double check, uh, but we'll definitely get it in this or the next episode. I do remember when I initially did it, it was a little tricky and it took me a little while. Um, so let's let's just wait for this to charge the rest of the way then we'll go ahead and try it if it doesn't work we'll jump into getting the rest of our emmy system uh together and then we'll we'll come we'll revisit this guy so looks like we are just about all the way there and there we go so if we click on this do i put that in there do i put that in there Yeah, okay. I can't remember at the moment. I'm going to have to go uh, read up on it, which means this part won't work, which is, it's not a big deal. We can still do what we want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So I do have some things here that we're going to need for setting up our ME system. So the first thing we need to make, uh, if I remember right, this is going to be 64... Um, Oh, what the, what are they called? I guess we'll find out. Dang it. <laughs> I really got to pay attention to what ones are on the corners. I, I'm not 100% sure. I, I think this is the dent, not the dents, but uh, yeah, these energy cells. Now these are AE energy cells. So we're going to have 64 of those for right now. And then what we need to do is we have, I set back here our metallurgic, uh, our, I guess it's not metallurgic, our inscriber. And we have it set up kind of automated, not really. But uh, what we can do is if you mouse over this, you can see that you can insert things from the top and it will go into this slot. If you insert things from the left or right, back or front, so any of the sides, uh, it will go into this slot. And if you put anything in this one, it will uh, it'll go into the bottom slot and then of course you can extract from basically the left right back and front so you can't extract from the top can't extract from the bottom but all the other ones are fair game so what we need to do is we need to come in here and make some chips um, which is what all of this is for so we're gonna start out with making our let's make the silicon because we can actually do other things while you do that so we're going to put our silicon press right up here and we're going to actually take our silicon here itself uh, and put it in the middle and you'll see you can only do one at a time so this is a very time consuming thing so what we can do is actually put those guys all in there and you'll see that it should well it's not going to do it if i don't have in the car uh in the extract there we go and now you can see it's making those now cool thing about this you can actually see i guess i've got to do this as well <laughs> i forgot to activate those it's really kind of cool because you actually can see the 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 press that we're putting there and then of course there's our silicon piece right there and then it it just kind of goes so it's actually okay speed wise but once that's done we have our 
uh, calculation press, which I want to say is the diamond. Let's do usage on that. Uh, in the inscriber, nope, actually, it's the Certus Quartz. We have our engineering press, which is the diamond, maybe. <laughs> uh, let's go to usage on that. Yes, uh, which will give us that one. And then, of course, we have this one. So we'll be doing those. And then when you're done, you end up putting your uh, chip up here, your silicon press down here, or your silicon chip thing down here, and then redstone here, and it will actually make the individual chips that we want. I think we can actually get away without doing that at the moment. All right, so let's go look right here. What we've made so far is this guy right here. Uh, we're gonna wanna make these, which makes it bigger. Uh, the reason we made 64 of these is so we can make eight of these. So let's just read this real quick. By default, an ME network on its own only has an internal buffer of 800 AE without, without an ME controller. <clears throat> With the controller, adding an extra 8K AE per block, um, for large enough networks, this can be insufficient and may cause a network power uh, power off intermittently when trying to recoup power for any connected devices. The energy cell allows for ME network to hold significantly more energy, adding another 200,000 200, AE per regular energy cell and 1.6 million AE per dense energy cell. These can also be placed anywhere in the network to provide an increased energy buffer. So, um, we're not going to put them anywhere complex. We're just going to kind of put them in there uh, where I have them planned. But what we need for this is we need a bunch of these guys. And I think it was... I think I had a certain number here, I remember. I think it was 22. Yes. I want 22 of those, and then go ahead and 22 there and there. So what we're making here is we're gonna start making our cabling. And so this is gonna give us basically uh, what we're gonna need for that. So let's go and do that. It gives us 64 and two for right now. Um, so if we come into here, I think it is, this is our basic cable and we don't care about the colors. We're just gonna say Fluix right now. And as you can see, it is uh, two crystals, two Fluix crystals, and the quartz fiber, which we just made. Oh my goodness. So that's why I have these like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, our 64 and 64. And go ahead and do that. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to take you and you. Wait, no, no, sorry. Wrong way. You and you and you and you. And that will give us a couple more. So this will be our cable. Um, and this is, this is the, the neat thing about the cable for ME systems is it actually carries its power through it. It carries, um, it, it also carries the, the items, I guess is what, what you could say. Um, and the other thing is you can break them with anything and get the item back as you can see there um, so so they're actually handy however they only hold eight channels basically when it's like this it's just an eight channel now we have ways that we can make it so we can actually see how many channels are being used but what it means by the channels is so if at the end of this I have a terminal and maybe a chest with a storage bus on it. That's using two channels, one for the storage bus, one for the terminal. Um, if I have other items that use different ones, then it's going to use those. So um, it, it's kind of good to have the other types of cables so you can actually see how they're doing. Let's go see how this is doing, by the way. We're still going, good. All right, so what we wanna do is actually get into our cables down here, which is this guy right here. So, so far we've made the glass cable. We're actually gonna convert it into the covered cable 
and then we're gonna make also a dense covered cable, which is not very hard to do. But let's go ahead and read our text. So to connect the vast majority of your ME network together, you need some cables. ME glass cable is the first and most basic kind of cable you'll be making. This all throughout, uh, sorry. <laughs> And you'll be making this all throughout as first step towards crafting the other kinds of cable. Both glass cables and their covered cable counterparts can carry up to eight channels along, uh, along a single section of cabling. Unlike glass cables, covered cables can sub subsequently be crafted into dense covered cables, capable of carrying up to 32 channels. However, most multi-part devices such as buses, terminals, cannot be directly attached to a dense cable, uh, dense cables requiring normal width cables to form a connection instead. So that's just saying like the back of a, a bus can't have the dense cable going directly into it. You have to bring it down to the like glass cable or something. Uh, let's see, all cables can also be crafted with dye to color them. Uh, uncolored Fluix cables can connect to any other colored color of cable, but otherwise different color cables will never connect to one another. So if we have a, a blue covered cable and a green covered cable right next to each other, they will not connect to each other, which is kind of nice because you can have your cables going, you know, uh, side by side. So what we need to do is make a covered cable. We're just going to do the basic one, not any colors yet. So basically all we have to do is take a piece of colored wool and our cable and there you go, we got, we got our thing. Um, and then also we need to do the dense one, which is the fat one here. And it's kind of the same thing, except for we take four of our regular ones and it makes into one, which makes sense. If each of these hold eight channels, that's eight, 16, 24, 32. So that's why we get the 32. You can always use a bucket or a bucket of water or a snowball or something to take a colored cable and turn it back into the regular one. So it's pretty easy to change them around. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to go to, where have I got, have I got wool somewhere around here? I don't remember if I have it up here or, here we go. Uh, we'll just do, let's just do our eight cables here real quick. Um, so let's go back over here. Oh, we're at 27. Oops, I went the wrong way. I wasn't paying attention where I was going. All right, so let's go over here and we'll take these eight cables here. We'll take these and this gives us the a dense cable. We take these guys and do this and we get the super dense. So let's go and complete that quest. We actually completed a quest. All right, so this is gonna give us a random prize, which looks like a Flux crystal and some XP. Uh, we'll probably get into these later. Um, we still need to make this guy, but I need the chip. Okay, maybe we'll actually do that next. Uh, we don't actually need the silicon for that. We're gonna take these out real quick. So let that one go. I'm gonna put them over here just so I can remember. We want to uh, go ahead and put this guy. Da, da, da. Which guy is it? Take him out. Go ahead and put this one in. And we're just gonna do a couple manually real quick. I think we only need, how many do I need? I need eight, I think. So we're going to quickly do that um, for 29 minutes. I'm, I'm trying to hurry as fast as we can. And so I guess in the next episode, we'll actually be able to uh, show our ME system. I need to think of a place. I'm thinking about where our squids are. I'm going to cap that off um, and then underneath there, because it's a very central location. Go ahead, I haven't paid attention to how many of these I've made. Six, so that's seven. Uh, 
But anyway, put it kind of underneath there as a centralized location. All right, so now that we've done that, in order to make the chips that it was talking about, we need this, we need eight of these. Oops, I went nine. And then we need eight redstone. Like so. And if we take our chips, we can put them in here. We can put the redstone in here. And we can put the printed silicone in there. And you'll see everything is lining up, I believe. That's not putting those in. I got to put those in. Let's check. Yeah, why is it not doing that? All right, fine, we'll just do this manually because I just want to hurry and get that, that done. So as you can see, this is actually making those chips that we need. The calculation process. Aw. And then we'll go ahead and make the dense ones, finish that quest, and uh, I think we'll call it for this episode. Maybe I'll end up making more cable. Uh, there we go. Two more. Uh, I think we made some pretty good progress. So we got we got our power set up. We got a uh, power kind of set up. Um, we have got a good chunk of our ME system going. Was there one more? I did eight. Guess not. All right, well, let's do one more then. I need one of these. And I get, oh, there it is. Never mind, we have eight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the silicone press back and I'll let this guy keep churning out. So what I've set up here is so that we'll end up having 64 of each type of chip. Might make more just to have them in my bag and ready to go. But uh, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do this real quick and then I think we'll call for this episode. So to make the dense uh, energy cell, all we have to do is take our uh, eight of the energy cells and put a logic or calculation processor in the center. And there we go. We have those now as well. All right, so I think that's where we're going to call it for this episode. Um, I have a little bit I'm going to try and get done for the next episode is getting um, the other ones. Uh, maybe actually I should quickly, well, so we can do the other chips also the same way we did this. I'm going to do it off camera. You don't really need to see it, but uh, basically do the same thing with the diamond and this, and then you infuse them with the, the redstone. That way we actually will have all our chips ready to go and we can hit the ground running in the next episode when we actually bring our ME system to life. And I'll let you know what I figured out about power. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Click that little notification bell. Um, join my Discord channel. Tell other people about this channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel. Everyone wins. And that is in my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.